So we're just talking about why the Niners uh, place more emphasis on practice than games for quarterbacks, which is, in my opinion, backwards. And that brings us to Brandon Allen, who was getting a lot of hype. And it was sort of the hype that we were expecting Sam Darnold to get once the practices started. But like everyone's talking about Sam Darnold before the practices started. Once they actually started and you saw it, well, that's, yeah, that's Sam Darnold. Okay, well, Brandon Allen, he started off hot. And Kyle Shanahan's like, man, I'm extremely impressed. And George Kittle's like, I don't think the ball's hit the ground yet. And like, they're, they're serious about it. And then Greg Papa, the, the play-by-play announcer for the team, yesterday or the day before on KMBR, like Two with a straight ago. face says, says, hey, man, if Brandon Allen keeps doing this, like the Niners really could trade Trey Lance because I think they've got their backup quarterback. It's like, okay, so this is like a real thing going on in the yeah. organization. Yeah. And then and then yesterday he goes one for eight, and it's like, right, that's, that's Brandon Allen. Okay, he's like 30 years old. I, he's not going to be the – whatever. But it just shows you why are the Niners excited about Brandon Allen because they're always – in love with the guy who's hot in practice that week. They did it with Mullins yeah, for because, years. You know why? Because Whoever's playing knows, well in practice. Everybody knows a guy that knows a guy. Everybody yeah. wants to sit around with their hands in their pockets and then look around and say, I saw this in practice, so this is what's good. You know, it's just, but, you know, we got to roll the gotta roll. I'm just going to say it. Brandon, I'm just going to say it. Brandon's been the best one out there. I'm just going to say it. Like, <laughs> dude, it's been two days. It's practice. You know it's Brandon Allen. Wait for it. Hey, I, I I don't know. On this team, in this system, no. Yeah, and and really and really, I I can't wait for the forty days to start, for the guys to really start putting on the gloss and the patina, because once the boys get in there and we start seeing them in the raw, um, we're gonna know who looks good and who doesn't. But at the end of the day, it's gonna be who Kyle thinks operates the offense best in practice because playing outside of yourself during preseason ain't going to get you points. Yeah. It's not going to get you points. And I think it's interesting, like, for, let's break, let's, let's step back and let's not be a prisoner of the moment. The Niners have said a few things. They've said that Trey Lance looks a lot better than last year. I would agree with that. And that's a mm-hmm. good thing, right? Like, you want that, right? That's who you've already made your investment in. They also right. said that Sam Darnold was going to be a totally different person once he came to this team. So far, that hasn't happened. Maybe it okay. will in the future, but so far, the whole Sam Darnold's going to be a different person here. I mean, that's what not Carolina thought too. Like, it's not a thing. Right. And then, and then the, the, they pivoted to, oh well, Brandon Allen is the dude who's going to take a leap because he's on his team. Like, no, he just went one for eight. So all you really know is that the dude you already made this crazy huge investment in is starting better. to make is starting to make improvements. Sam isn't. Brandon isn't. So what's the quarterback competition about? It's not even real. No. What are you it's doing? The, it's the whole. What are you doing? Bay. It's the yeah. hold everybody at bay into believing exactly. that there's a real decision that needs to be made. And no. there really isn't a decision no. that needs to be made. The Niners' mindset is, is pray to God Brock Purdy comes back. Yes. Pray to God. Yes. Or, like or pray Brock, to Brock. Push a little. Put a little pressure on him. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Like yeah. he needs to come back 100 percent healthy and ready to go. Because if he doesn't, then everything else is thrown out because you can't lean on Sam. You can't lean on Sam. And then if Brock has a setback, then effectively we're rolling into the season with Trey, Sam, and Brandon Allen uh, coming in. And right now, what you're essentially saying is if you want Sam is, is that you'd rather have a uh, somebody else's choice at number three overall, the number one overall. Than yours. That went, to, that, that went to two different teams yeah, that's learning the offense for the first time than your choice. Yeah, let's talk that's about that for a for second. Let's talk about that for a second. So the Niners traded three first round picks and a third to Miami in 2021 to move up to three to get Lance. Uh, Panthers had the eighth pick in that draft. They decided not to take a quarterback and they instead traded a first round. Uh, no, a second and a fourth, a second and a fourth to the Jets for Darnold. So both guys were available, Lance and Darnold, in the same offseason. The yeah. Niners could have done that. They could have called. I mean, he's cheaper. If they liked point. him better, if they liked him better, they could have called the Jets and said, hey, you know, hey, we'll give you a second and a fourth. Hey, we'll, we'll throw in a sixth and a seventh. I do believe that the Niners did offer the Jets a first round. A first. Pick for Sam. That's what it was saying. Yeah. Okay, but then they but then they offered the, the Dolphins three first round picks for Trey Lance. So two years ago, you liked Trey Lance at least two or three times more than you like Sam Darnold. Now it's even? Yeah. Off of what? But, what is Sam Darnold? Six games last year? 
you know what it's off of though, Grant? It's off of Kyle likes Sam, so he can't let him go. He he thinks he can make him work. Just like all of the players that Kyle likes, some for somehow, some way, they find their way onto the roster because he thinks they can work. He thinks he can make Sam work. Honestly, if you look at the skill set of what they believe Sam can do, he's a more athletic, developed version of Brock Purdy. And yeah. they believe that it could work because Brock is who has the locker room's heart. It's the he's the late he's the latest what they've seen, right? Sam is the contingency, and Trey is what they don't trust because he has skill sets that don't matter to what they're trying to do offensively. They it just it doesn't it doesn't track here. I'm sorry, I I got a vision, and sometimes I get distracted. But this is important. We need to talk about no. this. I think no. Kyle Shanahan should make a song called "I Need a Quarterback Part Two, mm. starring Genu. I mean, featuring Genuine and Jagged Edge, <laughs> and it could be Kyle talking about. <laughs> This is what I need. <laughs> I think that's it would be hella funny. He should do it. Kyle, bad boy. Shiny suits. I need a girl part two. I need a girl in my life. That's you, this except it's a quarterback. What that's what he <laughs> lay it out. What you need at quarterback, okay? A guy who makes five yard passes on time. Guy yeah, who doesn't I, talk back when I call him bad. And there's nothing Say wrong. It. Almost you know, I know it doesn't sound sexy, but almost like why didn't if we if we were gonna do all of this let's 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 go back to your revelation five foot five with dimples did. potential wife credentials that's what he's looking for dog just five <laughs> foot five with dimples that's what he needs a quarterback okay no, go ahead sorry if, if he's looking at let's go back to your revelation of him looking at Sam Darnold and still offering the Jets um a yeah. first round pick before spending a boatload to go up and get Trey right like mm. if that's even if he didn't want to do all of that stand pat at twelve and get Mac yep. Yeah. Just get just don't yep. move. Yeah. Right. Just don't so, move. Yeah. You could have yeah. done all of that. And again, like he's avoiding all of those conversations by having us talk about who's better, Sam or Trey. Well, I think it's Sam. Right. I think it's Trey. That's, oh, well, Larry said it's Sam. Oh, well, LeBron. And he he said it's well, actually, it doesn't matter. It's all to distract you. It doesn't matter. The, the team is too good. I, I feel yeah. like nobody's asking the number one question of how do we get this far without you handling this? I know. Like what this I, far? Like, yeah, year like, seven. We're here. How do we? How do we keep coming back what? to this level of success? And you haven't handled the number one single point of failure on the team. But and they're then, like, no, 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 we have. We have three answers, maybe four, considering depending on what Brandon Allen does today in practice, seven on seven. <laughs> I think I think Brock gives this team the best chance to operate they the way they want to, right? I don't think Yeah, that. based on again, based on two months. And yeah. so, here's the th and here's the thing with the Niners. They're so reactive. If Brock comes back off this injury and no offseason and struggles for three games, they'll be off Brock. That yeah. quick. And, and that reactive. I, I'll put money down that if Brock ain't playing, it's gonna be Sam. It's gonna be Sam. It's all about practice. It if might be Brandon gotta, Allen. Start, it might be Brandon Allen. Yeah, it, 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 it might be, be Brandon Allen. It might be Brandon Allen. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm telling like, you. I'm, yep. I'm just starting, it's I'm all just about practice. I'm not, I'm not fighting. I'm not. I'm not crowing at the organization anymore about what I think they should do. I'm about to just no. I'm believing what they're gonna do. They we know them. Yeah, and we know what I they're gonna do. Who you say yeah. you are, and you're not yep. gonna play Trey. Nope. And if, if Brock's nope. hurt, you're gonna find a way to play Sam. And yeah. and you we'll say Trey's finger hurts. His finger. He had a setback with his finger. It's yeah. the craziest thing. He right. broke it two years ago, but it hurts again, and he can't play. But he, he was doing great. They'll make I up wonder, a reason not to put him on the field. I wonder if we do see Trey, will we see any quarterback powers anymore? No. Because for some reason, we've just completely forgot about the fact that Trey's coming off of a major oh, injury. Well. Here's what they're going to do. The uh, Okay, so remember how the Shanahan's washed their hands of RG3? Yeah. Ah, he just... He just isn't the athlete he used to be, so we can't really call those runs. And, I mean, we'll, we'll give him a shot to play quarterback, but look, he's trash. Oh, uh, Mike, I mean, Mike looks... So that's what they're going to do to Trey. Like, hey, you know, we can't call those quarterback runs. I mean, he broke his leg. I mean, it was gruesome. So we won't do that anymore. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of what made him effective. So he can go yeah, out there I mean, and suck. Robert, Robert. Yeah. You, yeah. If we call... The only way to make you effective is if we run you. We have right. to run you, Robert. Right. And if right. we don't, if we don't make yeah. these plays for you, then we can't be effective. I know that I'm the genius. Yeah. It's my offense. You're gonna but, fail. 
but you're yeah. going to fail yeah. if you try to pass the ball effectively right. because I want you to do exactly what mm. I tell you to do. And I don't have room for any of your creativity. I don't no. have room for your talent. I no. don't have room to nurture you. No. I have room for you to be the best you can be within yeah. my offense because Yeah, cuz frankly I could win with Brandon Allen. Frankly. We and he's been better than you in practice. Cousins. Have you seen his numbers in practice, Trey? Have you seen him? Yeah. It's completing seventy five percent of his throws. Cousins. Yeah. That's right. right? Um, but, but, okay. but the only but the only quarterbacks who seem to win with this scheme are more than the talented. ones. Yeah. John Elway yeah. was not yeah. uh, a wilting flower. Um, that's true because you know, again, like you, Matt, you, oh, look, Nick Mullins. You, I like Nick Mullins, but you, Nick Mullins, Brian Hoyer, they look great in practice. You put them in the game behind this offensive line, they know their limitations. They see who's blocking. They know what's up. They know it's not going to last long, and it didn't. Mm -hmm. It didn't. So you need someone like Brock or Trey who can get the hell out of there and create off script. And Kyle's like, nah, Drew Brees would have got the Drew Brees would have got the ball out of his hands quicker. Like mm, you don't have Drew yeah. Brees, buddy, and you're not Sean Payton. <laughs>